Hey everyone, welcome to Pineapple Money, where I talk about stock market news and as well as investing for that long-term portfolio. So, what's up with Halion nowadays? For anyone who's still holding shares, is it time to actually sell from that run-up? Or, for anyone interested in Halion, is it actually time to buy those shares? Well, at the time of this recording, on October 14th, um, Halion is up a massive 10%. Um, today as the broader market actually trades and trends downwards. Prior to October 14th, um, as you can see, Highland was falling from a height of about 54 all the way down to about $26, which is a huge, huge drop off. And this is, was even to after the merger as well. So in this video, I'm going to discuss current updates with Highland uh, a recent interview with Healy and also what I think about the company and still of course whether I'm still thinking to sell my shares or am I actually planning to scoop up some more so I just created this channel recently so if you find anything interesting in this video please hit that like button down below and subscribe for more content I would really appreciate that as well and please let me know down in the comments below if you were able to buy the dip or what you plan to do with your shares. And don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I do in this video and say is my own sole opinion for education purposes only. All right, so let's get into Halion. So as we take a look at Halion's actual chart right here, um, we can see that this stock has been in a sharp sell-off ever since they hit a high of around 54 right here in uh, September 30th in even fell through after the merger would happen around October 2nd. So since the reverse merger with Tortoise Acquisition Company, SHLL, there has been bare to none news from the company or from the CEO, Thomas Healy, which I am inclined to believe is what led to this massive post sell-off right here. So looking at some news articles, You can kind of see that there hasn't really been too much news um, from Hylion either. Looking at the news articles right here, most of them were dated when Thomas Healy rang the New York Stock Exchange bell back on October 5th. And there was one recent news update regarding Hylion, which was, uh, looks like on October 13th, um, Axioma Ventures, which is an institutional investors um, probably, um, disclosed that they had a 10% stake in Hylion, which could probably have led to this massive 10% move up on October 14th. So other than that, there was actually no news regarding Hylion. But I did find an interesting interview with Harmony Sleeve from another YouTuber. Another YouTuber named J Mac Investing right here. He actually had a follow-up interview with Thomas Healy, the CEO of Hylion. And this interview is actually about 23 minutes long, but I actually think it's a really fun and interesting video to see uh, what's actually going on with Healy since he's had no um, other interviews with anyone else after the reverse merger. The main points I would say from this interview um, I found really interesting as an investor um, like myself is that Thomas Healy pretty much said that there are new things happening every day and Thomas Healy wants to be able to share that with us but has to follow it by the book and make sure everything's finalized and Healy does express that there are other things coming down the pipeline as well. And we should all just be looking towards the future for future announcements that they could have. However, right now, he doesn't have a timeline for us. But if you are interested in watching more of the interview or just having more information from it, I do recommend clicking on J Max um, interview. I will have the link down below in the description. All right, so let's dive in into what I think about Hylion. Hylion, in my opinion, is an amazing company. Nothing fundamentally changed with Hylion as a company um, post-merger. They are still striving to push electrification for their Class 8 heavy-duty vehicles 
and I still believe that Highland will be able to grab a good portion of the market share in their respective niche. So, Highland themselves, um, right now I believe there are some critics out there saying that Highland is just kind of a stepping stone to a fully complete um, electrification since they are making trucks right now or essentially drive trains, hybrid power drive trains right here, um, which pretty much uh, changes trucks into Priuses or hybrids essentially. That is currently true with the hybrid powertrain currently. However, once they release their hyper truck ERX, that will change. And if you're wondering what is so unique about Highland's competitor to actually test a semi truck, well, hyper ERX is very, very interesting. So let's take a look. So, well, the hyper truck ERX is a truck that runs through RNG. RNG is the renewable natural gas. Now, you must be wondering, what is RNG? So, renewable natural gas, also known as biomethane, is a renewable methane from organic materials. So, what's so special is that, is that RNG will pretty much um, has the ability in an enticing way to actually help cut carbon emissions. Now, going back to Highland themselves, Hylion, um goal is to actually produce a truck that essentially emits a net carbon negative emissions for all these commercial trucks and commercial fleets. The RNG, as you can see, will charge the batteries and pretty much essentially power the motors themselves. So you can actually see this little diagram right here is that once they get the RNG, their natural gas, they will charge their battery and then use those batteries to actually power their motor. So essentially, I don't think Highland is a company that will just be in, in a transition phase towards a future goal because they have essentially have an alternative to make sure that carbon emissions are cut down. Well, I know I'm gonna go on a little tangent right here, but I also think that investors need to stop thinking that Highland or in general, other EV companies will be the next Tesla. Because in my own eyes, no EV company is like Tesla. Tesla itself is a unicorn company. If you want to invest in Tesla, and you're looking for a company like Tesla, you should just invest in Tesla because there is no second place disruptor. Hylian, on the other hand, I think is something special because they compete in Tesla um, in the commercial trucking industry. And how Healy describes it, is that pretty much Hylion and Tesla and possibly Nikola have found their own ways to solve the problems of carbon emissions and to make sure that we are electrifying the commercial trucking industry. Tesla's battery route is through battery electric vehicles while Hylion is through RNG, which is renewable natural gas. They will both be competing with each other in their own respective methods to help electrify the commercial trucking industry. So, I believe that Hylion is actually here to stay. So, let's go back. So, as you can kind of tell, I currently have 35 shares in my public trading account of, on Robinhood right here. Um, I don't plan to sell any shares of Hylion. And I actually plan to grab up some more during whatever red days they have. Um, until more news of Highland comes out, um, such as more vehicle contracts, etc., etc., I actually think the company's price range would definitely be more in a limbo state right now and not really have any big price movements. But of course, there'll be some volatility ahead. And I'm sure, as Tommy's Healy's interview mentioned, we should also be expecting some more news in the future. So we can look forward to that. So, in this video, if you found anything interesting, please hit the like button down below and let me know if you plan on investing in Highland also. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.